Hello and welcome to Nicanus Club. So as you know, many antichrists have gone out. Many antichrists have gone out throughout the generations. They have appeared in different forms and manifestations. It doesn't mean that the antichrist or antichrist manifestation is always a man. Could the antichrist or antichrist manifestation be in the form of a virus of fear? And manipulation and control. You understand, I, I, I talked about this in previous videos about how the, anti, the virus operates like the Antichrist system and how the false prophet in the uh, uh, false prophet that gets the people to worship the Antichrist is likened to the media. That's what the media is doing. It's fake news. It's fake news like and and the thing about about this is that you gotta mix a little bit of truth in with the, with the lies. That's what the devil Satan did with Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. He said, You shall not surely die. Which he was telling them part of the truth that they weren't gonna die instantly, but they died spiritually, which caused a gradual decline in physical death. So the enemy always mixes a little bit of truth and lies within his pitch. So we have these articles, we have these news, these fake news, and of course there has to be some truth in it, but there's also lies, there's uh, uh, misinformation, misrepresentation, uh, it's puffing, if you will. So now we have children having COVID rates spiking set up school set up for size this is all political 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 absolutely in the beginning of this quote pandemic they were saying that the news was saying entirely different things the news was saying that uh, the virus was only uh, affecting elderly that children were almost immune and weren't affected by it okay and even so, is a high survival rate for children and young adults. Okay. So now that school's opening up, they have to create in and twist these articles to make it seem like, okay, now kids are increasingly getting infected when, lo and behold, they're just being tested more. And they're being tested for things as the CDC website already says when you're tested for the antibodies you it may just also mean that you have had a virus in the family of coronaviruses such as the common cold now everybody and even a kid has had the common cold so if these people are testing positive or numbers are, are rigged and, and twisted even bill gates is saying that the the, the testing is 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 inaccurate how much more do we have this false image of a pandemic and a false image of children that are being infected this is purposely to keep the businesses closed down purposely to keep the schools closed down to perpetuate us in a suspended pandemic of despair this looming devastation this is also counterintuitive and counterproductive because it doesn't create an atmosphere of health and wellness. People, more people are dying from suicide. People are dying from the ramifications of the government shutdown and control. People are dying in, from all different types of diseases and illnesses, not just, quote, so-called COVID-19, you see. So this is all a game. It's all a manipulation. Yes, people die from viruses and colds. It's obvious that's been happening since the beginning of time. But what's different this year is that they're making it a governmental control, controlling system. And these things are antichrist. These things are satanic. They're diabolical. 
you see. So what we need to do is that we have to start speaking the truth. We have to start that, that these things have to be exposed. The truth has to come out the light. And when the light comes, darkness is dispersed. We have to start creating communities of health and wellness where leaders rise up and shed and spread a light so that this darkness of disease or, or a seemingly a perception of disease is eliminated and you gotta understand also Satan, he has no power. The only way that he uh, wins is by manipulation and lies, illusions. They make people believe certain things. When we all are, have been wrapped up, tied up in Christ, we have been redeemed and saved. And if you believe in him, we will have eternal life just in a second and we're able to access healing just in a second all things are possible to him that believes do we need this type of faith in today and not a atmosphere in a world of fear and disbelief that being said uh i just launched the official canis club website which will be mainly a blog website this is it you're able to reach me on this. You're able to text me uh, on WhatsApp and ask me questions. You're able to submit spiritual uh, questions, dream, vision, interpretation, spiritual spiritual experiences that you've had. Uh, any prayer requests, you're able to contact me and email me, and I'll get back to you on these things. Also, I'll put my blog post on here, my thoughts and ruminations weekly on here that you're able to look. Spiritual edification. Uh, I will be having an email list. It's not yet set up, but it will be set up where you'll be able to have direct access going to your email. Uh, in case you forget about the website, here's my social links, Facebook, uh, the Canis Club uh, group, and my YouTube channel. So this is the, uh, the website, and now it's official, so you can um, have a blog to go through to read uh, my thoughts and biblical discussions, spiritual discussions uh, throughout the week. Um, let me know how you think. Contact me on this. Uh, comment on the blog. Spread it. Share it. Uh, but the Candace Club website is up. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.